Careful. <clears throat> coach, what is the best and hardest thing about being a life coach? The best thing about being, you know, your guys' life coach. I mean, we never done this before. Nobody, where we from ever took kids in and then wanted to life coach them. Um, so the best thing is that, because we've never done this before, I get to experience watching you guys do some amazing things. And I really mean that, like, you know, you guys come here um, with all of these innocence and then you guys get thrown in the middle of Utah and then we all learning together, like, we live on an island, you know, and the best thing is watching you guys grow, become this young man that, that, um, that I don't think your parents understand what's going on here. Like, you guys have grown tremendously. Like, if your friends only seen what you guys are really doing, it, it'll be impressive, you know, because that, where we from, and I'll tell you guys this, what are, what is our friends doing at home? Like, like drugs. Uh, yeah, drug already, alcohol. like, alcohol, um, you know, just crazy stuff. What about you? What would your friends do at home? Trying the same thing or just doing nothing? Yeah, I mean, like, and it's okay, right? Where we from? It's everybody does it, but I, I don't want to be a part of that. And that's the best thing. I get to be a part of watching you guys not do those things. We talk about some amazing things. The hardest thing, the hardest thing about being a life coach is, um, again, watching you guys grow and me trying to get rid of your bad habits that I thought was normal, you know, and like like this morning when we were getting in the car and he was mad because Pocky never washed his face and brushed his teeth. Yeah. Like, Puck, Pocky. But I did brush my teeth. <laughs> oh, this guy's <laughs> lying. Liar. This guy's lying. That's it, Pocky. Why are you lying? Why not? You said you used the right sink. Trust his teeth. I come, ah, teeth. I come into the bathroom, I use the left side, I wipe them after I, I done it because I like the water. And I look at the right sink, all dry. <laughs> all dry. Okay, all jokes aside, guys. It, it's he 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 might have we we didn't see, but but it's it's um that's hard for um for me to see these guys go at it because I thought brushing teeth and washing your face was normal, but yeah, I guess and even taking a shower. Um, I'm not saying that they do or they don't, but in the in the couple years I've been doing this, we always had somebody right in the past had no shower. And like in Hawaii, showering is important. We bathe how, how, how many times a week we bathe? How many times? Well, what is it? Is it once a week? Is it twice a week? Oh, no, it's every day. It's every day. Yeah. It's every day, dude. We we bathe every day. Like then you come to the mainland. Some people they just bathe every other day. But when you're from Hawaii, and some people adapt. Like Pocky, he just adapt. He's like, yeah, everybody bathe every couple of days over here. So I'm just gonna do it like that. But if you go home, you gotta bathe. Every no, Pocky. Nah, this guy's my roommate, so I cannot adapt to his smell. You can't even smell him anymore. No, I cannot adapt. I still smell <laughs> him, so that's why I need to go But all jokes aside, the hardest thing besides all of this is like watching these brothers fight. Because we all come from Hawaii and we all have a standard in how we live. Um, the hardest thing is knowing that they're, they're going to go someplace good. And when you guys go home, that's the hardest thing for me. I, I worried about what might happen if, if we haven't shaken off the bad habits. Like, again, like, what, what, would, what might happen if we do move back home? Like, and I'm not saying you guys, but what might happen to the people that we love the most that we're around? Like, what might happen is the hardest thing to them? What, what, what they might end up getting caught up in or... What is it? The drama? Yeah. yeah. No, no, what you guys just said earlier, it, it's the truth, right? Um, my friends are drinking, they're doing drugs. Like, it's normal where we're from. It's like, but is it normal up here? Oh. Or at least where we live, right? Everybody don't do that. And, like, I'm starting to think that's the hardest thing. Like, knowing that my boys are going to go back home to Hawaii. And, you know, and, I, of course, at the, the, the craziest thing is that's the best thing and the hardest thing. Just knowing that the best thing is that watching guys grow and the hardest thing is watching guys go back home just to go be average, you know? And I'm not saying that you, you, you cannot... Like, be great at home either, but like, you know, I've, I've said this in the past. If you hang around five idiots, you're going to be the what? The six. The right? six, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, we get more people trying to get us to do negative things than we do positive. And here, I don't know, I've never met anybody yet that your friends and your friends that drag you into anything negative. Everything, all your friends is awesome people, right? Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, like, you get mainland Howley friends. 
But then you also get local brother friends at home, you know what I mean? I mean, you would take, you'd bring your friends from Utah and take them home. You know, people would probably look at you guys how? Differently. Yeah, and nobody would they say. Probably make fun of us. Yeah. Yeah. That's not normal. Like, like we all about picking each other up. And, and I think, um, you know, I, I'm going to end this question for you guys so we can move on. But the the best thing that I love about you two boys, and I, I do love you guys like my own sons, is you guys share gratitude. And um, that's every day we share gratitude. I know Pocky's been working on it, right? Pocky's been working on his gratitude. He's doing good, but, yeah. you know, I got to say, even though I'm hard on Pocky, I really am, guys. Like, I... I beat on his mind. That's what I beat on his mind. I, I push him to the limits by hard coaching. Um, even saying some bad words. But he still shares gratitude. That tells me he's getting rid of that old lifestyle. So gratitude is the best thing that we, we have going for us in the South Because gratitude is the key to success in life. When you cheer people on, you know, because you throw it out there, what can happen? It's going to come back. Come back. And that's why we're going to be successful. So. Okay. How does it feel to coach high school and college, and what is the difference? Well, I think um, if you guys are from Hawaii, the difference is this. Nobody's coming. In college, nobody's going to ask you to go and put in more effort. Like, they just cut your, they cut your ass and then it's next man up or, or whatever, which is crazy because our kids are very talented. Um, you know, we also have that problem in high school where, like, in Farmington, it's like college over here. If you can't do the plays, right? Yeah. Like, your experience last year, I mean, you got to, you were, you, were, you played a lot. I mean, last year, I think you, I, I counted at least, shit, like, nine JV games and, like, I think it was ten varsity games. And you're in on the goal line and on a short yardage offense. So that gave you... 18 or 19 games last year, you understand, right? But if I never pushed you that way, I don't think you would have asked, like, oh, you know, coach, can I play? Or you would have just accepted what they were giving you. But you're too talented and too big for me to be like, like, let you learn. And then you got Pocky on this side. Like, he plays JV, but because from this, like, a college, they, they're not going to teach you. Pocky doesn't play varsity at all. So, like, you got to play 19 games at Pac, he's only going to probably play 10 because he's only on JV. Last year, he played varsity end. And and the difference with the Utah or the mainland compared to Hawaii, everybody feels like everybody should play. You know what I mean? Like if, if, if you know, if I was your parents or if I was, and I'm not talking about like your parents, but like the parents in Hawaii. You know, Koli, your coach is, he doesn't know what he's doing. You're supposed to start in varsity last year. You don't know the plays, right? Uh, Pocky is pretty talented, but he's another. He doesn't know the plays, right? Average parents go, Pocky, your coach is stupid. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he should be on the field, and then you believe this stuff. And so that, that means you don't go and practice. You don't go and learn the system. And so in college, when you come up, don't, nobody even says anything. Right now, I mean, the guys we brought up from Hawaii, they're fighting for their positions because they're waiting for somebody to go, hey, you got to get moving. Hey, you got to move your feet. They don't do that in the college level. Yeah. And I think you guys notice more than any Hawaii kids. My point is on the Big Island because up here in Farmington, if you can't do it, the coaches ain't pulling you in. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Right? So, like, like, they're not going to... Like, pull you in to explain a player. Nothing, anything. right? You gotta hey, do it on your own. Gotta do it on your own. And you're learning that right now. Pocky's learning this right now. Pocky's struggling. Pocky's from Waimea. He would be playing at Honoka. And, like, I'm not saying anything about Big Island football. But we, we're chasing one more championship. We're chasing one more win. And realistically, what I'm chasing is on, on great education for them. So, knowledge is power. The more he learns, the better he gets. When I say education, I'm not talking just school. I'm talking the game of football, the game of life, and then school. And nobody wants to help Pocky because Pac, the coaches set it up that way. You go on your huddle, um, and that's where our plays are at, right? Yeah. On huddle. So, like, no coach is like, oh, here, here you go, Pocky. Sit down with coach, and let's draw it out. Um, a great guy, um, his name was Kurt Kael Germando. He um, coached 
at Hilo High from 2014, I think, to 2019. And they won the states um, two out of the three years they played. And that guy used to sit our kids down in high school and draw plays day after day all year round. And he would go over huddle and he would do those things. I thought everybody did that. And they don't, not in the mainland, definitely not in college. So when you, when you find a coach that loves what he does, you guys got to get to him. Like, I love Dusty. Dusty is a hammer coach, huh? McQuivy. This guy's coach is unreal. Our head coach, Daniel Coach at Farmington High School. Huh. That guy is the most humblest, biggest man I've ever met. That guy doesn't even yell. He's like, hey, buddy, you got to do a better job. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Tell Pocky. Quivy, yeah, Quivy, yeah. But, but Quivy's a real deal. These two guys have been in the NFL, and they know without without effort, without self-motivation, without all those things, you can't make it that far. And in Hawaii, and again, I will talk about Hawaii, um, the question from Paki was, what is the difference between college and high school or high school and college? In Hawaii, everybody's telling telling their coaches or their, their peers or their friends, my boy is on D1 college. Just check their grades. Just look at what kind of grades they are. I don't care if they're really that good. If this guy's size, if they cannot get decent grades, they're not going to the D1. And that's what we got to we gotta just start being open about it. My, my last thing is, I want to ask you a question. What do you want to do after you graduate high school? I want to be a lawyer. A lawyer. That was our plan. And because Pocky wanted to do that, I wanted to help him. I would love to have a Hawaiian attorney that went to college, played football, and if he was gifted enough to get to the next level... That means he's going to get a degree and he can get to the next level if he did, if, if it was the, the league. But Coley, 6'3", he has the possibilities to do it. Um, same with Coley, when, when you first told me what you wanted to be, what was it? It was lawyer, but yeah. low key, looking into uh, marine biology. I kind of like it. No, but you, you see what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're shooting high. No matter what, you want to be an attorney too. Now you like be a marine biologist. That's your life, dude. I want to help you get there. That's what I want to... Football is just a vehicle for us, you know? And I think um, if, if you guys do even become 80% of what you wanted to become, 80% meaning you play football, you become great men, you go to college, become an attorney, 80%, get married, become a great father, right? And you help take care of your family, then we've done it. You understand that? And that's how we will live our life. And that's what I think about your questions. And... Um, I love you guys, and just keep an eye on these two boys. They're going to do great things. Hey, I love you too, coach. Thank you, coach. Gratitude. Gratitude. Gratitude.